My name is Emily. Lately, I've been enjoying traveling with my mom friends. Now that my daughter is older and independent, I can go on a trip more easily than before. My husband is also a kind-hearted man. He is always willing to send me off with a smile saying, Don't worry, honey. You always work hard with the household chores. You gotta go and have fun. Though I have been having a good time with my friends, a new friend named Sophia recently joined our group. Because of her, sometimes I'm unable to enjoy my trip. Sophia is a money-oriented person. I wish it was just that, but no. She's also a voracious and a total cheapskate. She's constantly thinking about how money this and money that. Oh, speaking of Sophia, she just sent me a text. I wonder what she wants. Hey, I can't believe it. What's up? We split the check at lunch today, right? I went home and did the math and it turns out we accidentally paid extra 9 cents. So, basically a cent? That's right, we paid an extra cent. Camilla paid the bill today, didn't she? When I came home and did the math, I found out that Camilla got 5 cents more than we did. Um, unbelievable, right? Even if you're my friend, you have to be more careful when it comes to money. No, Camilla. She said it was a hassle to split the cents, so she'll just pay a little more than us next time to compensate. Huh? I didn't hear her say that. You didn't hear it, because you're always on your phone. It's Camilla's fault for not saying it more clearly. Anyway, will you come with me in taking the scent? What? Well, I can't let her get away with this. Don't you think so too? No, not at all. Well, I understand that you might be embarrassed on mentioning it. I know. I'll go get your share back instead. And I'll get everyone else's too. Huh? Gotta go. Bye. No, you don't have to claim my part. I got it. So you really went to Camilla's house, huh? Of course. Duh. So, what now? What? Do you want me to give it to you? No, that's okay. It's not like I want you to get it for me. Huh? Well then, so you don't mind if I take it? If you want it so bad, suit yourself. Yay! Lucky. Everyone's so kind. Everyone? Yeah, everyone. I asked the others and they said they'd give it to me too. Huh, I kind of feel blessed right now. Well, that's great. Yeah, I'm so lucky. Oh, by the way, next weekend is the trip you've been looking forward to. Oh, yeah. We're taking the car, right? I don't have a license. Who's going to drive? I will be driving. I'll be taking my car. Oh, really? Well, you seem like a good driver, so I don't have to worry. Oh, I can just pull on an all-nighter then sleep in the car. You know how boring it is in the car. Okay, do whatever you want. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I also have to buy some chips and alcohol to eat in the car. Please, not that. Huh? Why not? I'm gonna be borrowing my husband's car and I don't want to make it dirty. It'll be fine. You can just clean it up when we come back. Just don't. Ugh, you're so stingy. Then I'll just be sleeping. It's gonna be so boring. Well, it's good that he'll at least be busy driving, but what am I supposed to do until we get there? Why don't you just talk with your fellow moms? I don't want to. I don't enjoy talking to them. Then why are you coming? Because I'm sure I'll get a great deal on the trip. What? What do you mean by great deals? A good deal, like a cheaper price than when I'm going alone. Anyway, I'll see you next weekend. Yeah. You've got to be kidding me! What is it all of a sudden? You! It looks like you didn't pay for gas. What? I went home and did the math and realized. There were five of us on the trip. And we paid too much for the gas. Uh-huh. But you were all considerate and said I didn't have to pay. Huh? What do you mean? You said it was fine too. Wasn't I playing with my phone at the time? You were, but... 
What I said while being busy on the phone shouldn't be counted. I replied without listening. I didn't know anything about that. What do you mean? You're the only one who doesn't have to pay? Because I was driving the whole time. Driving? So what? The person who has the car should be the one driving, right? Ugh. What a fraud. You should give back the money now. I understand. You'll be satisfied if I give it back? Yes? Let's meet up with the others now. I've done the math correctly and I want everyone to pay that amount. Now come to my house. I can't right now. Okay, I'm going to tell the police. I'll tell them that you're a fraud and that you deceived me to get my money. Why do you have to be so scandalous? If you don't like it, you have to come here now. Fine. Hey, Sophia. Hmm? What is it? Oh, thanks for earlier. I mean, you should have paid me from the start. You took more money than you should have, didn't you? Huh? What are you talking about? Earlier, you just took the money without saying anything. We recalculated the amount. It was obvious that the amount was wrong. Then we found out that you took extra money. And? So what? So you're not denying it? Um, yeah. I mean, why do I have to hide it? Why did you do that? Because I was pissed off. Well, it's like a consolation money, so suck it up. Sophia, you know that what you did was a crime, right? A crime? What are you talking about? Did you just make up a law or something? No, it's an original crime. Huh? What did I do? You just committed fraud. Fraud? Oh my god, you're exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. You just swindled out our money. Of course, you'll be guilty of fraud. How can it be fraud? Because Camilla said it's fraud. What about Camilla? Didn't you know? Camilla is a lawyer. Huh? I didn't know that. We've talked about it a lot. You really don't listen to us, don't you? Damn it! Hey, but even if Camilla is a lawyer, you have no proof that I intentionally took more money than I should have. Um, but I do. Where? You don't know? How can I know? It's this message. Our chat? Oh my god! Did you finally notice? Thanks for telling me, I'm gonna delete it now. It's useless, I already screenshot it. Why did you do that? Because I'm about to show this to the police. Why? Why are you going that far? You're exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating, and I didn't know that this kind of thing has happened a few times before. Who? Who said that? Almost everyone said so. What? Anyway, we're all going to the police station tomorrow. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, forgive me, okay? I'll think about it if you give us all our money back. I can't do that. And why? It's my money now. Why should I give it to you people? Because it's not your money. I can't. I'll never give it back. I see. You never cease to amaze me. You're holding on to that money you stole from us, but can't you realize you lose an even bigger amount of money? Hmm. Speak for yourself. I won't be arrested for this anyway. I doubt that. Well, then... After that, Sophia was interviewed by the police, and we filed a lawsuit to teach her a lesson, but Sophia did not appear in court. After losing the case, Sophia had to pay us compensation, including court costs and all the money she took from us. Sophia was crying so hard. Moreover, her husband divorced her because of this case. She also had to pay child support as her husband got their child's custody. Sophia really lost a lot of money. Now, we're on a trip again, but thankfully without any cheapskates with us. We're so much more comfortable traveling now that no one is being too focused about money. We are very happy to be able to go on this kind of trip. Next time, I would love to travel with my family. The next story is about a fellow mom who boasts about her son and have an obsession about being on top, going to a restaurant with the assumption that she will be bought a drink. Hi, I'm Grace. I'm a housewife and my husband and I have been married for 20 years. 
Our son was born two years into our marriage, and he is now a sophomore in high school. I really feel like time passed by so quickly. Even so, I am leading a happy life surrounded by my kind husband and son. However, there is a problem that has been troubling me recently. It all started when Riley, the mom of my son's friend, who we met when he was in elementary school, contacted me for the first time in several years. I had not heard from her in a few years. Hey Grace, it's been so long. I know, right? So, what's up? I just got my first smartphone. I switched to an iPhone with my husband. That's great! Are you finally downloading WhatsApp? Yes, I am. I'm still not used to it, though. It's got all of these really useful features. I also started to use it last year. I don't know how to use it, so my son is teaching me. Location information. Missed call. What? Oh, sorry, I accidentally called you. I was just touching things up and I sent you all sorts of stuff. You surprised me. So anyways, my son. At this moment, a memory from years ago flashed back into my mind. Flashback. Whenever Riley said, my son, she will 100% start bragging about her son and also start with her self-centered talks. I thought how it's been a while since I've encountered the situation, and although I've already predicted what she was going to say, I decided to listen. What happened to your son? My son is really amazing. He was ranked 20th in the country in the last national mock exam. That's amazing. Well, your son must be out of the question. Well... By the way, what rank was your son in the whole country? Well, I have to ask him first. Sorry. He dodged the question. You've always been fast at dodging since way back then. For example, when you disappear like a fog after the first round of drinks with co-workers. I don't even know what to say about that. Anyway, I'll be in touch now that I've downloaded the WhatsApp. Thus, Riley began using WhatsApp. From that day on, she started sending me messages frequently. To tell you the truth, all I could feel was annoyance. Since Riley's husband is a town council president, I couldn't go so far as to block Riley's contact. Besides, because of the deep-rooted regional characteristics of the countryside, my feeling of not wanting to cause too much trouble won. I've felt this way ever since I met Riley in the elementary school. I had been trying to keep a casual relationship with Riley since I first met her in the elementary school, just because it didn't do me any harm. Then one day, I decided to hold a social gathering with some of the other moms from elementary school. And when the date for the get-together was set, Riley contacted me. I just overheard something. I hear you're having a get-together with some of your moms from elementary school. That's right, we're having a get-together. What's going on? I wasn't invited. I can't believe it. Obviously. Why? This social gathering is supposed to be with the fellow moms I met through elementary school club activities. What? What about club activities? My son was in the soccer club too. So the social gathering is going to be with the moms who I met in the music club. So that's it. You're excluding me from the group. No ma'am. Your son was in the soccer club. You said it yourself. That's why you're not invited, since we're in different clubs. Who's the organizer? What are you going to do when you hear who the organizer is? I'm going to join too. Uh-huh. Am I saying something crazy? My right shoulder really hurts. What is it? Frozen shoulders? No, it's not. I'm trying to tell you that you fellow moms, including Grace, are all parrots. Finally, I understand what you mean. It's hilarious when you have a one-sided stomachache. I've been sending you that for a while now. This is why I have a problem communicating with poorly educated people. Sorry. 
What I'm trying to say is that I have a husband who is the town council president. I don't like the fact that you're having a social gathering. That being said, that's enough. The organizer probably doesn't understand the rules of this neighborhood. The organizer is probably that single mom Nora, right? I'll call her and teach her some manners. And so, the social gathering that we had been looking forward to was suddenly thrown into disarray when Riley showed up. Things started to get a little intense. I was actually surprised that Riley would go to such lengths to attend a social gathering. The old Riley used to boast about her son, and her narcissistic personality was a pain in the ass. But as the years went by, she seemed to have added brazenness to her personality. In the end... Riley used all kinds of tricks to get Nora, the organizer of the party, to allow her to attend the social gathering. And then, the day of the party arrived. Hey, Grace. What's wrong? No one showed up at the reserve time. What? You tricked me. Riley, your appointment is at 1 o'clock p.m. What? I don't know if that's... Yes, it is. You better pull yourself together. Shut up. No one likes people who can't admit their own mistakes. Huh. Well. Never mind. I'm so hungry I could get a hole in my stomach. So I guess I'll be eating first. Huh? What? Do you have something to complain about? It's a coarse meal. If you eat first, you'll have to pay extra. I know that. I'm the wife of a husband who owns a restaurant. I have plenty of money. Well, sorry. Now enough of that. Get over here. Then it was 1pm and we're on our way to the restaurant. We got to the restaurant and looked at the table where Riley was sitting. There were four empty pasta plates. And to our surprise, Riley's husband was also there. They had eaten about 10 plates of pasta together. After that, the social gathering began. More than 90% of the conversation was about Riley's son and her selfish stories. It made me want earplugs. The party went on without getting along with the other parents at all, and when the bill came, an incident happened. Riley and her husband went to the restroom before paying the bill, and we couldn't find them anywhere. We searched all over the restaurant, but they were nowhere to be found. We even tried calling them on the phone, but Riley never answered the phone. We had no choice but to pay the bill ourselves. And just as we were leaving the restaurant, we received a call from Riley. Thanks for the food. That was really good. Riley, where are you? You disappeared before we got the check, so we were all looking for you. Grace, I hope you read my message properly. What do you mean? I said thanks for dinner. So that means... Yes. Today is on Grace and her friends. You've got to be kidding me. I don't have a choice. My husband is always taking care of you at the neighborhood association. This is the least you can do. You're disgusting. Whatever you say. The world is a prosperous place. I'm a prosperous person. Well, I guess you can't understand deep words. Why are you doing this? I can't afford to live this month. <laughs> Suck it up. This is what happens when you exclude me from the beginning. I hope you've learned your lesson. Somebody help me. I won't help you. That's... that's too much. Is that what you thought I'd say? You stupid pig. Huh? Oh, there are so many things to correct and tell you. I don't know where to start. Hey, Grace. First of all, make sure you know what prosperous means. I'm gonna make sure to ruin you, so you'll know. But... Don't squeal like a pig. I know from the beginning that you were going to eat me alive. How... how could you? I didn't know, but I heard it from a fellow mom. That you've been doing the same thing for a long time, just like today. That... and rejoice, pig. But The uncle of the manager of the restaurant where you had your social gathering today, he's someone who's deeply involved with your good-for-nothing husband. Didn't you just eat and run? 
What? What do you mean? What? You don't know? I'll tell you then. The manager's uncle owns the place where your husband rents the restaurant. What? You're lying. I'm not lying. The manager who just found out what happened contacted his uncle. And the uncle said, we won't rent the store from now on. He also said he'll collect the rent that's overdue. Oh, no. Don't make me laugh. You've always been bragging about your money, and now you're behind on your rent? By the way, he said the rent in arrears is $26,000. He said, also, it's a hassle, so just pay it in one lump sum. I don't have that kind of money. You sowed the seeds yourself. You're going to have to take care of this yourself. Please. I'm going back to the store now and I need you to talk to the manager's uncle. I don't know. I didn't know that today's store is run by the owner's nephew. You had it coming. Oh, and you used to brag about your son all the time. My son is ranked fifth in the national mock exam. Don't ever brag about that nonsense again. Boo hoo. After that, Riley and her husband were evicted from the store. They paid their past due rent in one lump sum and are now completely penniless. Riley and her husband have become shoplifters. They are now living behind a cold fence. Their son has also left them and is now living with his in-laws. While I live happily every day, now that Riley and her husband are no longer in our town.